hello beautiful people welcome back to another vlog it's still vlogmas period it's um a friday afternoon it's so cold in fact this morning was minus five degrees last night was minus six we're really truly at that time of the year where it's gloomy it's cold but it's very close to christmas so we don't really complain but we love it do you i just thought i'll start this vlog my husband is not very well he's had a bad flu and i've just prepared him some pepper soup which is currently cooking and i'm tidying up i've been working and cooking and cleaning multitasking we mothers if you can relate put your hand up we're good at that aren't we so i'm just going to check um if the meal is ready just thought i'll introduce this vlog before the kids get back and it's busy and i forget the next couple of days will be exciting because i am going away with my girls we are going to a very beautiful city in europe which i'll get you guys to guess towards the time see you later in the vlog so like i said my other half had been struggling with a bad flu and it was really difficult because at this point obviously like most of you know i have been on a vegan diet so i really have not been eating meat and on this day i had to prepare this it looked so good it's always worked when you've got like a flu or like a nasty cough and you're struggling um, this time I used potatoes, I used some chicken, a lot of pepper, I used scotch bonnets, quite a bit of ginger and garlic and whatever spice you have and make sure there's enough liquid so they can drink. I actually added some jangsa as well and I can say that this definitely helped my husband to feel better. Mm -hmm. I hope you feel better. Thank you. So like you know it's so cold days like this i bake so i'm doing some granola and i'm doing a banana bread i've shared my recipe in the past but i'll just show you snippets of it so i'm about to start baking now it'll be a few minutes just whip everything together in the oven i always use rolled oats to do my granola it's something that i have shared a few times so yes i will not be sharing it again i add some pumpkin seeds um some raisins and sultanas and yeah that's it complete i used white egg to bind it and i bake with some almonds as well of walnuts so that's after it's baked for almost 20 minutes once it's ready i add the raisins or the nuts after so that it doesn't get burnt and then i decided to do my banana bread for the kids and mom i would stay clear of this for obvious reasons but they still have to eat it it came out so beautiful really fluffy and if you want to see a full recipe i've got it on this channel which i'll link either on a card or in the description and once my granula cooled down i just put it in one of my storage containers it looked so good it baked to perfection and then it's not ready yet but i add some banana slices just for aesthetics and then i bake again for a further 20 minutes while i was doing all of this i discovered that i was hungry so i had a courgette which i spiralized i can call it zoodles but i had it raw and i baked some cauliflower just put some paprika and some salt baked it for a few minutes and that is my lunch i also added some carrot peels in it um eating raw food has changed my mindset on veg and this was a lovely meal i didn't have to add anything else yum 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 all doing i'm going to share an idea of a shakiteri board i'm away with friends i'm about to please them to pick like a nice buffet table sort of shakiteri board theme thing and i'm about to get started so the beauty about this is you can cater for everybody i've got some prawn i've got lots of fruits some celery as well as carrot buttons i've got some spring rolls and then some olives all of that is vegan and raw which is beautiful and again i've got pigs in blanket which is very christmasy i've got some stuff in the oven and 
I'm about to start putting it together. I've used two sort of cheeses to make the cheese board, which is the main center of attraction. And that usually goes either with crackers or with fruit. So I decided to go healthy because that's me, but you can choose to add some crackers. I tried to make sure that I include as many colors as possible. This is green. These are green grapes. I also used red grapes. Um, just give it a good wash and set it aside again when you're plating this it's really up to you it's personal choice on how you want to lay it but i'll just show you what i did and it was actually you know quite impressive so it you can copy it i added some strawberries as well and always make sure you wash your fruit um you know it, it's best to in case anything has been sprayed to them you just avoid you know consuming it i also got some pomegranate which was in the fridge and yeah some wild blackberries and then it's time to plate it like i said i had already placed the cheese i had um spicy cheese as well as a sweet apricot cheese so i just tried to place it in a way that the colors blended well and it was very colorful which makes it a lot more attractive and if you had any crackers this is where you place it next to the board and you can use three boards for the quantity that i used this is something that you will wow your guests with especially for christmas eve get togethers you can by all means add any other thing you want to add but this will cater for a lot of people and then it, this is more this was more for me <laughs> because i have been eating um i've been having a vegan diet as well as raw so these are sun-dried tomatoes you can get them from the main shops i got most of this from aldi i remembered to put my carom carrot buttons and i also got some olives including some feta cheese again this is just to make sure that you cater for all of your the all of your guests choice some people will eat cheese and others might not so it just gives the variety and i added the celery sticks if you've got hummus it is wise to put it next to it so this is how it looked when it was all put together i took the pomegranate out of the fridge and yes i can say that it was quite impressive by all means add anything you want to add to this and voila i added some garlic bread the pigs in blanket some vegetarian spring rolls and some dog spring rolls it was a cake because this was meant for a get together with our girls which i have posted the video and some chin chin yeah so this is just to show you how you can put together a charcuterie board really easy i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give us a thumbs up consider subscribing for lots of other content and um, yes thanks for watching bye bye